ओके यूज अपडेट मेथड यूज अपडेट मेथड टू टू ज्वाइन ओके टू इंसर्ट आइटम्स इन वन सेट टू अनदर ओके यूज अपडेट मेथड टू इंसर्ट आइटम्स फ्रॉम फ्रॉम वन सेट टू सेट टू अनदर सेट ओके so as per this okay we need to do what so update method also will be used to insert items from one set to another set okay now here try to understand how that uh, update method will be used suppose we need to write use that student okay, dot i told you that method method always part of an object or class okay here i have these methods will be accessed with the dot operator okay so whenever i keep dot here updates try to under, see any update method is here this is update method okay m means method you click on this now within this method student dot update method okay now within this student set we need to get what any another i suppose this set value is to be added so you write that variable name float float is a variable which is having these numbers now float set whatever the values part of the, this uh, float variable it is a set float is a variable means it is a set having these variable these uh, values now these values will be joined with the student now if you ask for print bracket student so a new list will be created sorry a new set will be created with the updated values okay this is what the list is created now see ramu sita vasu three values in the student list is there so three values and this float this uh, set float set having these values 10.2 10.8 and 10.9 okay a new set is created so all these all methods one is that by using this union operator to join more two or more sets otherwise use uh, union method that is part of by this method can be accessed with the dot operator otherwise update method will be used to insert items from one set to another set okay now all are equal next is word but we need to understand that at both methods both methods both what what methods will exclude duplicate values duplicate values okay duplicate both methods means both methods are what update method union method update method union method where is union method this is the both will exclude duplicate values you can write at the time of um, set creation you can write the values you can write the duplicate values suppose here 10.1 more 10.9 you can write but at the time of pre calling printing so only one value will be printed okay even though if you have written many many duplicate values only one value will be printed 10 point only one 10.9 will be printed okay now 
one more math operation. What are that union? Now try to understand intersection. Intersection is used for what purpose? It will it will give the result of common values. Okay. So one more math operation that is uh, we will try to understand here. That is what intersection intersection in sets intersection used to uh, display uh, common values common values are duplicate values okay okay now see so intersection used only duplicate values are common values uh, suppose this is a set, this is a set, but this set having all float values, it has only uh, one float is there. So you keep a common value, suppose 10.8. So you change it as 10.8. Now what happened? This set and this set, both are having one 10.8. Ten point eight. These are common values, no? Let us see what happened here. Whether it will give the it will give the result as common values. Otherwise, uh, we need to change this definition. A duplicate values we need to check back there okay now how to use here which method we will use for intersection we will use the intersection okay so create uh, one variable take any variable take any variable suppose uh, x y z z is a variable Anywhere, your name, my name, any Z, this Z variable holds that common values are duplicate values. Okay. So, how it will be done? So, first we use any num, okay, dodge. So, here, C, intersection, I. So, in the, this is the intersection. Two methods are here. Intersection update under under intersection. So I want to use the intersection here under this uh, floats F L O A T because I want to look for duplicate values or common values. Okay, in num num is a num is a set and float is a set. Within that, I want to look for common values, otherwise duplicate values. Let us see what happened here. So next you print request for print bracket Z. So now if you run this code, what happened? You are getting 10.8. Why 10.8? Try to understand. This is the common value. Okay. In this set, in this set, and in this set, this is the common value. Okay, common value. That's why intersection will be used to display common values. So remove this duplicate values, okay? Common, that value is common in both both sets. 10.45 is here, here there's no any 45. So 10.8 is here, here also 10, but that's why it's common value. So intersection, used to display common values. So intersection method I have used. One more method here, intersection update. Intersection update. So same method, it will you it will be used for same function. Here, syntax is what? Here, one variable I have created within this uh, intersection method used for num set. You can change this. You can you can write this also change float dot here change num okay there is no any problem here okay 
If you run this code, same thing you will get. There's no any problem. Here you will get only 10.8. Okay, now I want to use intersection update method. For intersection update, you do one thing. Suppose same num dot dot intersection. Before I have used intersection, here I want to use intersection update. Now within this, you need to put float. Load set and one more set is we have created here. Yes. Student. Okay, we will use student. Anything, any set, huh? any set. So students. Now what happened in the student intersection and num? Any common value is there. So num is what it is totally num. It is having only what? Integer and float values. Integer and float values. Integer integer and float values. So here you want to use student. So now what happened? Now now you try to get a print print of num. What happened? Because num num having only what where is that num two values one integer and one float student having all strings but there is no any common value so what will be the result so now let us see so again 10.8 for print num and num is where Num is 10.8, it is having. Mm. For this, for this it is printed. Huh? But I want to get what about this update num dot student uh, num dot intersection student. Student is where this is the student Ramu Vasu here. If I keep one 10.8 here, 10.8. So now you run this code, okay? Because now you are looking. We are looking for num set and student set common values. Where is the num set? That num is where this is the num. It has the common value ten point eight. But float I have not used. Eh? Float here used. I have used float. Float and num both have common value ten point eight. Here intersection update num has a num has a common value ten point eight num has common value ten point eight and student has a common value ten point eight so now you will get two values ten point eight ten point eight so intersection will be used for what intersection will be used two or two methods are there intersection underscore update and the intersection both will be used to find common values. Next is what a difference. So as I I told you that some word sets has the math uh, sets will be used for union intersection difference. So now we will study this on. Uh, okay, on Saturday. Okay. So I am going to terminate the class. So we will meet on Saturday. And Saturday we will study rest of the sets and part and dictionary. So after one, whenever I complete the dictionary, the total data structures, okay, built-in data structures, a yeah, collection frameworks, a collection arrays, all are collection frameworks, collection arrays, data built-in data, all are same. So as I told you that uh, Python supports uh, data collection frameworks like what you know, list, tuple, set, dictionary. Okay, so everything will be finished. After that, uh, we will go for file handling in Python. Okay, so 
apart from that uh, i started to teach c also and whatever the i have started teach whatever the classes i have conducted they are also being kept in youtube in our channel you can watch from there uh, i started recently i have briefed the basic concepts like variables and data types and the size data sizes okay how to declare the variables in c what are the data types in c and how to get the printout uh, printout in c and um, what are format specifiers okay and up to this i have covered in c okay some data types i have briefed in c that is uh, integer uh, float care float uh, two types double float sing uh, simple float okay so i have briefed that things and after that we i will go forward so some loops for loop while loop if else statements so that will be covered lot of topics i will cover in c okay so you watch so i am going to close the class now we will meet on saturday means uh, today is 9 10 saturday okay so now stop